A piece of metal with mass 125 grams is placed into a graduated cylinder that contains 25 milliliter of water, raising water level to 56 milliliter. What's the density of metal? So this is the schematic of our system. I have a graduated cylinder. Uh, it is filled up to 25 milliliter, if we can call it VI. Okay. And when once we put the metal, it has a volume. It will raise the water level to a new level of 50, 56 milliliter. So this, this water, this uh, water volume is V final minus V initial. So it's 56 minus 25. And this is the volume of the metal. So we say volume of water displaced by metal equal the volume of rising, rising water. Okay. Uh, volume of the metal equal 56 minus 25 equal 31.00. Okay. Each number has two decimals. So the final answer should have two decimals. Now to find the density, we divide mass by, per, by, by volume. The mass is 25, so in the proper scientific notation, it should be 1.25 times 10 to the power 2. And we divide it by 31 milliliter. We write it in the scientific notation, it will be 3.100 times 10 to the power 1. Now the denominator has 3 SF. The denominator for SF, the final answer should be controlled by the lowest number of SF in this operation. So it's 0 0.403225 times 10 to the power 1. Okay? 100 divided by 10 is 10. So we should limit ourself, ourselves to 3 SF, 1, 2, 3, we should stop at the 3. So the final answer is 0 0.403, 2 is less than 5, so we just eliminate them, okay? And this is the 10, multiply is 4.03 gram per milliliter or gram per centimeter cube as each milliliter is the same as a centimeter cube.